Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, thanks for joining, and uh, welcome to our talk. Um, today's talk is about Huawei Cloud Roma Connect, which is our enterprise integration platform, which is built on Apache Camel. So um, today we're going to uh, go through a couple uh, agenda items. Uh, we're going to first introduce ourselves. Uh, talk about our visions. Well, wh why are we doing all this? And then uh, we want to explain to you uh, why Camel is such an important piece in our journey. And then we want to share our story with you, uh, share with you our lesson learned, things that we, 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 we learned along the way, and also things that walls that we hit. Uh, so hopefully it will, be, uh, it will be a good sharing story. And then uh, we, look, we will look at community. Uh, how this camel community and Apache community in general help the success of our delivery. Uh, and then uh, lastly, we will talk about quickly about um, our future visions, about what, what we want uh, to be built on top of what we have today. And uh, we will end with a quick uh, question and answer sessions uh, on our chat window. So um, let's talk about ourselves. Uh, I'm Eugene Chen and I'm a staff software developer of Huawei Technologies Canada. I'm part of the Path Middleware team platform. And um, I have my work experience uh, include uh, mostly IBM products like WebSphere, uh, Eclipse platform, uh, in particularly the uh, profiler tooling in Eclipse and uh, IBM products. And uh, before I joined uh, Huawei, I was also a uh, contributor of the uh, IBM Cloud uh, uh, platform as a full stack developer. So let me introduce, pass this to Mike to uh, uh, my colleague, Reggie. Hey everybody, my name is Reggie Matthews. Uh, I've been working with Huawei Canada Research Center in Toronto for close to two, uh, two and a half years with uh, Eugene and team. I've been a strong, strong open source uh, evangelist and I love tapping into the potential of uh, public collaborative projects. My core expertise lies around building integration and build-best solution uh, since my early career days and Currently, I have close to about uh, 10 years of experience in designing and developing softwares for various organizations and customers. And that's about me. Thank you, Reggie. So uh, a, a quick uh, uh, introduce ourselves and uh, where we come from. We came from Canada, uh, Toronto, Canada, and we are part of the uh, Huawei uh, Canada Research Centers, uh, which is located in Markham, uh, Ontario. So today we're going to talk about uh, why are we doing all this. Uh, uh, we want to talk about Apache Camel. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, we have the product which is built on top uh, called Huawei Cloud, Roma Connect. Um, Camel is a key element to our success. And uh, we want to share with you our journey. Uh, when, when was this all started? It was a, uh, everything started as a POC project. Uh, in the full, term, full time of uh, 2019. And um, the POC project uh, was mature and uh, got into production adoption in uh, last year, summer last year, 2020. So uh, why are we doing all this? And what is the point of having us together to show you our stories? Because uh, we want to tell you why are we building this? Uh, we, by listening to our customer, we learned that they have uh, pain points that I will explain in the following slides. And so we, we have a vision to build a next generation uh, iPass platform, uh, which hopefully will help our customer and future customer to, uh, to uh, empower their, their um, uh, enterprise or organization to build a more efficient uh, integration applications uh, for their purpose. So first, let's, let's jump into our vision. Why are we doing this? So again, we want to build a next generation iPad. Uh, what does that mean by next generation iPad? Our vision is that um, after listening to our customers and hearing out their pain points, they have a uh, reflect to us that um, a lot of their existing integration applications has a long and has a huge uh, co-maintenance requirements, which involve like scripting and also uh, repeated connections, uh, pool management, and also like, uh, 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 connection pool and management as well as uh, repeated the pattern logic that they need to uh, like uh, man, man, uh, main, main, maintain in multiple places. So we hope to help them by providing a, a local, no-code environment platform that they can focus on their business logic 
and leave the uh, common steps and common patterns to us. So we will make it easy for them to do their job without a high maintenance requirement. Um, they were happy with it, and uh, and then, and so we start our journey. Uh, and in order to do that, in order to support a next generation iPad, we also see that the connectivity we, uh, uh, flexibility is is a is a huge uh, uh, compo uh, requirement because uh, as a as a cloud services, uh, we need to be make sure that we are compatible and connectable to all the other cloud services in different cloud environments. And also, uh, our customer has a lot of systems and IoT devices uh, around the globe that they will need to be integrated with. So uh, connectivity is a is a key concern, and having a platform that 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 comes with uh, a variety of connectivity support is, is 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 the key to our success. And also, we want to make sure that customer who is also leveraging our SaaS partner uh, will be able to use the platform in the same manner and without. A, a big transition requirement. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of their customer um, integrations apps, they have common patterns, and um, a lot of them have to maintain the, uh, the code uh, implementation of their patterns. So we want to help them to make this a standardizable uh, a standardization uh, by having a, uh, the same uh, user experience among them. So users can have a one-stop uh, tooling to do all their work without uh, without the need to maintain code just for the uh, integration patterns. And uh, we want a, a platform to be future-proof. Uh, what does that mean by future-proof uh, architecture is like, we want it to be extendable. So we know that for sure down the road when we have other connectivity requirement, when we have other system or component that we, we want to uh, connect to in our integration support, we can do it quickly and we can do it easily. And also, uh, uh, we want we want this platform to be uh, agile, so it can be uh, flexible and to future technology. Like when we have a new deployment topology, we can quickly switch between the different layer uh, in the platform to to adopt the uh, new technology to take advantage of it, which will benefit our customers. So before we jump to our journey, uh, I would like to uh, pass it on to uh, Rajiv to explain and walk, talk about uh, why Camel was the key uh, component to our success and what are the elements in Camel that we think is very good and very critical. And uh, we want to also share with the community uh, how this thing will also be beneficial to, to your integration development as well. So Rajiv, I'll pass it to you. All right. Thanks, Eugene, for that quick overview on who we are and what's our vision. So let's talk a bit about the magic framework, which kind of gives us uh, wings to fly aroma. Since its inception in 2007, Apache uh, Camel has evolved to be a powerful and industry leading product, which focuses on supporting developers who are kind of looking for a flexible plug and play and lightweight uh, framework. Uh, what's more, uh, well, it was incubated and continued to be under the Apache Software Foundation, which steers the project through uh, great standards of management and stewardship. Uh, it just makes us trust Camel more to be adoptable into our vision. Uh, by adopting Camel to be the foundation of our product, uh, we enjoy an array of benefits of Apache V2 license. Um, being under the Apache license, it comes with its assurance of uh, long-term perpetual worldwide uh, and non-exclusive rights, which is a key decision driving point uh, for the framework consumers like us. Moreover, uh, Camel has uh, proven robust release cycles uh, with a very stable code base, which is uh, well steered by the community and the PMC members, alongside uh, strong code review and merge standards, uh, ensuring the overall quality of the framework. And we go to the next slide. Why did we choose Camel for Roma Connect? So let's uh, walk over some of the features which uh, we love in Camel. One of our primary criteria while uh, selecting a runtime framework for Roma was uh, extensibility options in terms of connectors. Uh, as we all know, connectors are kind of crucial elements in any integration frameworks or tools. Camel seems to impress us uh, since its inception with almost uh, counting 250 plus uh, components and connectors as of today. And the list just continues to grow. Uh, in fact, we already love contributing Huawei Cloud uh, connectors and we appreciate the easy contribution capability of the framework. 
Uh, it's not uncommon in today's enterprise IT landscape to hook up old uh, legacy systems, which might be passing around data in formats like fixed length records, uh, CSVs, and other uh, different kind of flat files. CAMEL uh, caters to such needs by extending the support to over 24 plus uh, data formats. It's highly crucial uh, for us to support large varieties of data format to make an effective uh, middleware product. So we were glad that we chose Apache CAMEL on these lines. Well, CAMEL also supports a wide range of expression languages, which, uh, which are often powerful uh, for manipulating and performing some operations on the messages uh, and helps achieve this without writing long lines of logic. Uh, moreover, uh, CAMEL enhances the overall developer, developer experience by providing over six different types of domain specific language, also known as DSLs, uh, that enables the integration developers from various uh, background of coding expertise to, uh, uh, it, it ranges from OSGI friendly, Blueprint, uh, XML, YAML, Brava, uh, Groovy, Java, Scala, and so on. And I strongly believe that this will continue to expand. This provides us immense flexibility to interface with uh, the Apache CAMEL models and definitions. Uh, to talk a bit about the management part, uh, the management APIs in CAMEL provides easy interface uh, to real-time control and monitoring of integration as well as uh, the messages. This helps us uh, build reliable metrics and reporting uh, frameworks uh, for our product. Can we step to the next slide? Thank you. Now, out of the box support for almost all the enterprise integration patterns, you know, also known as EIPs, is the key selling point of CAMEL. It helps the uh, framework users to solve major integration problems with ease. We uh, extensively use the EIP support in CAMEL to offer value to our product users. And trust me, they love it. Uh, last but never the least, we love it because it's flexible to repackage and modularize, which kind of opens up avenues to extend and you know, build on top of it. Uh, can we step to the next slide? Okay. Now, what we love about the community. So the project, uh, we believe it's well backed by the experienced domain experts who understand the uh, enterprise application integration problems thoroughly. Uh, let me revisit an old proverb. It says uh, necessity is the mother of invention. So I believe uh, the Apache Camel project leaders uh, have extensive experience in dealing with the real life integration problems in their early days and they discover the need to put together all the proven patterns as a super cool framework. And while we develop our commercial product, it's also very crucial to work with a community that um, extends the support to its product users. I must say this, that I love interacting with the community over the chat platforms and forums, social media. Uh, every time I do so, I kind of get solution to almost every question I put forward in probably just a few hours. And I want to extend a huge thanks to the folks out there for your support. Great job, guys. We also love good documentation. For that matter, everybody does. Uh, in fact, every user loves us. Uh, Apache Camel has a well-structured and organized uh, website, which is pretty well indexed by uh, all major search engines. Finding what you need is pretty straightforward and easy. I would say it's almost instant. Now, uh, talking about the sustainability aspect, the overall product architecture and feature evolution looks pretty uh, future-proof. I think uh, I, I need to step to the next slide. Yeah, so uh, we're talking about the sustainability aspect. The overall mm -hmm. uh, product architecture, as I said before, uh, it looks pretty future-proof. Uh, and we want to appreciate two major uh, groundbreaking projects which have uh, stemmed from uh, plain vanilla camel. Number one being camel corcus. Nothing can beat the lower memory footprint, which is uh, a great step towards support for native applications and faster uh, start time. That's definitely the way to go as industry is looking forward to adopt more containerized uh, application delivery philosophy uh, simply due to its. Uh, Obvious, this obvious advantage of uh, portability and cloud friendliness. We are also excited about this feature and we would love to explore this deeper in future as we evolve. 
uh, an opinionated platform is always about speeding up things by focusing on solving one type of problem. Uh, Camel K, uh, this cloud native platform integrates uh, pretty well with the K native to provide holistic uh, serverless experience. Uh, makes it makes it a cakewalk to host the Camel apps on the cloud. We love this feature and we are looking forward to tap into its power and flexibility to optimize uh, our integration application deployments. Uh, thank you and I would uh, hand it over to Eugene for the remaining part of the deck. Okay, thank you, Richie. So uh, let's talk about our story and uh, how did we do it uh, with the help of Camel. So I'm going to talk about the different um, development milestones that uh, we experienced. And uh, in each milestone, what were their uh, contribution uh, features that we were looking at and, uh, and what are the end results look like? So uh, we start with uh, user experience, which is the main reason why we want to advance our existing uh, integration platform that exists in Huawei Cloud uh, with a way better uh, user experience uh, uh, technology and products. So our goal was to help users to transform their integration requirement from an abstract level with no code required uh, format. And then we will, our platform will help them to transform into a uh, runtime executable uh, uh, implementation. Uh, we picked Camel to be the executable engine. So uh, we, well, our angle was to help the user to, to build a um, Camel integrations uh, in a Camel executable Java DSL uh, without the user knowing how to build or how to write Camel uh, applications. So we started with a um, with, uh, with Camel mod with a model we call integration model. We try to abstract the requirement uh, such that user can be easily define their integration requirements. And uh, we also uh, start with actually evaluating the Camel K as our end because of their uh, of the we were interested uh, and and uh, actually uh, uh, attracted by, by the feature that was came in the earliest day of Camel K with the uh, dynamic generations uh, of, of the image, which is a, uh, a, a, a platform that we would like to uh, leverage. So we end up building a uh, generator framework, uh, which is a uh, uh, generator for generating Camel K required DSL. So it, we can fit in a, uh, uh, DSL into Camel K for generations uh, of images uh, of Java images, and then uh, and have it uh, based on the user requirement. And then we went through a series of uh, design thinking sessions with our existing customers, just to show them, uh, uh, just to help us understand what they were trying to build and how they wanted to be built. And then by leveraging their information, we want to make sure that what we build is what the user expecting. And uh, by giving a bi-directional feedback, we actually give, got some early uh, uh, good review from customer about uh, our proposals and in the POC, and, uh, and which helped us to, to have a really clear mindset about how we want to, how, how a, our product will be a, a good uh, user experience. And uh, after that, we jump into our, uh, our console and the surf and related services. And in, uh, in order to support the uh, integration model, that, that will be the uh, information user uh, view as, as the uh, integration requi requirement. We, we envision that if we can um, make camel components uh, into a individual flexible connectors, uh, so we, will have, we can have a framework that is auto-generate, auto-parsing of the camel input requirement and then generating the UI uh, element uh, inside our console editors. Um, that will be, that will be a, a, a powerful tooling because uh, that will also help our internal code maintenance. So we build a metadata model, which is mainly uh, surrounding a concept of uh, connector descriptors, which de describe uh, from parsing a uh, camel components input requirements and we map it into UI in translatable uh, requirements and then uh, to support that we also have uh, create a, a data source to um, uh, component uh, we call it adaptive beams uh, which is used to help uh, connection to re uh, reusability. Uh, with all these uh, different uh, um, metadata model which uh, and the uh, simplify 
and abstract version uh, of the uh, of the integrations. We help users to build uh, a, a, a UI model that is uh, way easier to understand and then way easier to maintain. And uh, after that, we, we start looking into other uh, uh, enhancement or, or evaluate other other uh, different approach to to uh, on the runtime side. So uh, we look at how we can make the modeling uh, at the camel processing layer uh, much easier by introducing uh, a lower level handlers, uh, which are custom generators uh, to to help uh, the uh, the runtime uh, by passing the uh, the flow modeling coming down from the surfaces to uh, to auto generated camel processing model that can be fit into the execution environment. Um, with this support of handler, it gives us the uh, flexibility to make uh, a, a flow uh, into a much complex model without the need for user requirements. So we can map a one step specification from user to uh, many or multiple steps that will be end up in the uh, camel processing model. We can abstract branching requirement uh, uh, to user uh, and generate the underlying uh, uh, processing model uh, for the users. And in order to support our potential production adoptions, we also look at uh, the different uh, metrics and uh, auditing uh, capability uh, in our uh, framework uh, by leveraging the integration with other uh, Huawei Cloud uh, metrics and auditing services. Uh, which will help the product to be more seamlessly integrated, not only with customers apps, but also with other uh, uh, cloud services. And uh, in order to enrich the, uh, the uh, user experience, uh, which I will show you later on about our prototypes and the limitation of the prototype, we have uh, worked closely with our headquarters account development team to start building a, a designer editor, which is a fully graphic uh, drag and drop uh, user interface, uh, which will help users to build uh, abstract uh, integration uh, requirement by just uh, UI uh, drag and drop components. And uh, in order to support that, we have uh, introduced a graph modeling, uh, which is a uh, another layer on top of the integration model, uh, mainly for the uh, graphical uh, representation uh, of integrations. And uh, with the support of the graph modeling, uh, we can enrich with template support which is another framework that will help users uh, to uh, have a much better uh, user experience uh, by uh, the support of template will make user uh, available to pick a, a, a handful of uh, predefined template. So the graph will be auto-generated and all users have to care is the information about the connections or the business logic specification uh, inside the uh, integrations uh, app. And um, lastly, uh, we, we start looking into um, the, the uh, connector plugin framework, which is a framework that we have extended uh, on our internal system, which will help um, our partnering uh, cloud services, as well as the potential SaaS partner to be able to onboard their connectivity in the Roma product. Um, the, the whole main point of, uh, of this plugin framework is to abstract out the requirement uh, on the uh, underlying modeling, but we will make it into a much lightweight uh, plugin, uh, plugin framework with simple interface. So we can have a, a quick support to our uh, partnering services and SaaS partner to make their con uh, component uh, quickly deployable into the market uh, with, uh, within our uh, Roma uh, product line, connect product line. So here is a quick uh, overview, uh, high level overview about uh, what, what we end up uh, in our uh, product. So we have the, the, uh, the common three layer approach. So we have the client with console and SDK uh, that will talk to the service layer, uh, mainly into four main columns of, uh, of uh, managing, managing management service. Uh, we also have the metadata services for console and, S and client to be able to understand the requirements so they can create their abstract model quickly. Uh, for facilitating the console, we have the graph services. Uh, for conversion, uh, support between graph integration and integration to graph. Uh, 
we have the persistency layer uh, available. And um, through a uh, common broker, we uh, uh, enable the communication and dispatch uh, of uh, services uh, integration uh, apps requirement into the runtime model. And then um, the handler will be handling the uh, transformed model uh, and then uh, have it execute inside the uh, target camel execution environment. We also have the supporting uh, uh, audit and metric services available inside the runtime. So uh, we end up having a abstraction like the what we show on the screen. Uh, so uh, we have our uh, term terminology called Roma Connect, which is circle uh, into three major components. The metadata is where we will have the descriptions and uh, artifacts about uh, what the connector is about, how it support, and how it require. And then it will be mainly a, uh, a metadata information for clients to be able to make their specifications. A converter is available at the service layer to help map the uh, user requirement uh, into potentially multi-step flow or subflow. So we we will handle the uh, the additional requirement of uh, step break down uh, by understanding uh, the metadata information and then uh, convert it into a uh, semi uh, runtime ready environment uh, model. And then lastly, we have the handler at the runtime level to further go into the uh, uh, final uh, uh, conversions of the modeling into a fully camel compatible runtime model. So uh, it will be the end uh, applications, gen generated applications uh, at the runtime. So uh, here are some uh, early prototypes that we did. Uh, and uh, here, uh, as you can see on the screen, this is uh, pretty uh, simple and it is linear. Um, it's mainly t as a proof of concept to, sh to, to prove that our uh, uh, underlying technology can support majority of the requirements. And it has this limitation and, uh, and uh, the real estate is limiting its scaling as well. And then uh, and another screenshot can show you when it's in editing mode, uh, there is some limitation when we try, when the end user try to build a more complex uh, integration, for example, like EIP with branching requirement, exception flows or parallel flows, uh, which is not fully uh, supported here. So, uh, but that's just a prototype. So what we end up, uh, and on top of that is also the adaptive beans, which is the connection, which is the connection pool uh, information, uh, connection pool support uh, for connect, uh, connection reusability. So uh, here's what we where we are today. So we have a rich interface that user can build multiple uh, flow in a single interface uh, with a rich set of uh, component that user can use for connect uh, and also a, a set of EIP uh, as a trackable uh, component that user can use to build their integrations. And also there is uh, other uh, uh, dimension of the integration that user can do leverage like logging and uh, execution record. So I'm going to quickly jump into uh, our production environment and quickly want to show you what we have and how this works. So here we have the uh, the component on the right. So uh, so user can just drag and drop. We have data source, we have EIP and different type of processor. So here I, I have a uh, a quick demo example here. So when user um, click on the component uh, or connector, they will have the specification, which is uh, user will be, uh, I'm going to copy the API here. So user will be used to specify how they want their, for example, their API endpoints going to be. And additional component like a message block, and uh, we have a HP response component here where user can, can specify the uh, response. So I have color world here, I'm going to, change it to a hello Apache. And then I'm going to save it and I'm going to restart this integrations. And I have it as a, as a uh, HTTP endpoint here. So it has already been defined and, um, and I'm going to try it and then so I'm going to invoke it and you can see there's a HTTP response coming back. And uh, by going to a different 
dimension, we can also see information like execution record. So we can see how each integration was invoked and what are the processing data uh, for uh, and the logging information. So these are the different uh, features that we have built and uh, adopted by the uh, production systems. So let's get back to uh, the next uh, topic about community. So I was just going to quickly go through uh, how the community has helped us and uh, what we want to contribute back to the company. Thanks, Eugene, for that uh, quick walk through our uh, journey so far with Roma Connect. So as part of the journey, uh, alongside being the framework user, we would also love to contribute back to the project. Uh, we kicked, uh, kicked off our contribution plan starting with uh, donating Huawei Cloud Service Camel components. As of today, uh, we have about four components already delivered and we have a solid roadmap around uh, onboarding more components uh, for most of our cloud services to enable uh, Camel users to kind of integrate with uh, our Huawei ecosystem. We love learning through contributions here at the research center. We, uh, our team puts in a lot of effort uh, alongside the main Roma engineering track to understand and uh, walk through the, the open source code base of Camel. Uh, we strongly believe in deeper understanding of the product through collaboration uh, with the community. We believe in sharing new learnings and findings because it's always beneficial to the community. Uh, recently, recently, we uh, while playing uh, around with a few EIPs, uh, we noticed a special behavior uh, in the multicast EIP under certain circumstances of message routing. And our team was more than happy uh, to go ahead and contribute a blog article on the same under, uh, and it is uh, published back uh, in the Camel website under the blog section. Apart from working on our main product, uh, we also extend our support and consultation to Huawei in-house business units by uh, introducing Apache Camel to them and, and, its, and its goodies. Uh, and we also hope to extend the promotion uh, of Camel to our customers who are interested in learning more about this product. And thanks again, over to, over to Eugene. Okay, thank you, Richie. So let's talk about our future, uh, what uh, our Roma product want to be uh, achieved in the future. So we want to close the ecosystem gap uh, right now, uh, we have the plug-in framework, but we want to make sure that all the existing cloud services will be able, and our SaaS partner will be able to contribute their connectivity through this uh, lightweight plug-in framework. So it will enrich our uh, product uh, uh, ecosystems, and uh, it will also make uh, everyone easy to uh, to adopt this uh, new uh, connectivity. Uh, as an EDA uh, solution being a mainstream right now, so we, we will also be closely integrated with other event services that is currently available uh, in uh, different cloud vendors. Uh, we want to make sure our connectivity is there. So we will be extending with connectors. Uh, SaaS partner connectivity is always uh, also a, a focus. We want to make sure our customer will be able to uh, have all their uh, business requirements uh, complete in a in, a, uh, in, in our environment. Uh, EDI is another area that we will be uh, going to focus on, uh, which include the uh, enriched formatting support as well as a, uh, a better templating support. So we, we will hope that uh, with both these format and templating and, uh, and with the advanced mapping uh, tooling available, we will help users to make EDI and transformation user experience, a user experience a much similar uh, uh, effort to do. So um, thanks very much for uh, for joining us today, and uh, let's hope that we will be able to connect again in the future. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post it on the chat group window, and we will be happy to answer them. Thanks very much, and have a good day. Bye bye. Stop the sharing.